Hey there. In this video, uh, we will look into the simulation of first come first serve algorithm, also known as SCFS scheduling algorithm. SCFS, as name itself tells, serves the process which arrives to the ready queue first, irrespective of any of its priority. So now I have loaded a program in the memory, and if you want to know how to load a program, uh, you can check the link in the description or you can click on the i button on top. Also, the program which I'm using now, I'll leave that in the description box. So now let's go to the OS options. Here we see the running queue, basically which means the process which is currently being served by the CPU uh, is there. So we can get all those details here. After that, we have the ready queue and the waiting queue. After this, we have the scheduler, uh, which has few options here. The first is the policies, which basically has all the policies, which uh, namely are FCFS, status job first, around robin and other configuration related to that after that we have the os control uh, some views and os help so the os control will basically help us to uh, start stop the program or to increase the cpu speed and decrease the cpu speed or also uh, some other configurations which are presented and finally we have program list the program list has basically the uh, num the name the list of all the programs which we have loaded into the memory the processes and the program so now mainly what we will be dealing is with this process tab. So let's get started with the simulation. So I'll create a process P1 uh, with priority 3. And for this first simulation, uh, let us take all the process as if they arrive at 0 seconds. Okay. So there is no delay in any of the process. So let's create process P1. We see the process P1 is being created. Now let's create process P2 with priority as, let's assume as 4 and let's create it. And let's create process P3 with priority S. Um, maybe let's take it as 1. And finally, process P4, let's create uh, priority S2. So now I've created all the four process. And, and as the order I have created them, they have been loaded in the uh, ready queue in the same order. So now let's start the simulation. So you see the process 1 is being served here in the ready queue. Let's increase the CPU speed. So as we notice in the simulation, as the process was served in the order it was created and no other overrides happened, even though the priorities were different and like process four had a better priority than process one or any other thing. So more details, let's go to the log. So we see the log here, and we see that um, the process one was loaded into the ready queue, process two, process three, process four. Uh, and we see the priorities as well here. Now when the scheduler was started, uh, we schedule, of course, we use the first come first stop. Now we see the process one was the one which first moved from ready queue to running state. And then it was terminated. It took some time of 18 seconds, so it's it waited for 0.18 seconds before it could start. After that, we see process P2 started, and uh, it the total time for it to be evaluated was somewhere around 0.5 seconds. Uh, but of course, it had to wait for 18 seconds before it uh, got its time to go ahead to the CPU. Same thing happened with P3 and P4 here, respectively. So we see uh, in this simulation that uh, without, like there was no impact of priority or any other thing, uh, even though uh, we added some priority in the first and first of all algorithm. Now let's just go and let's reset the program and let's go back to the OS options. Now let's start the second simulation. So I'll create a process P1 with priority three and for now, as arrival time is zero, so there is no arrival time. So I'll just create the process. I'll take process P2 and maybe I'll take the priority as four and let's take that it was delayed by four seconds. And let's create the process. So now we see there are two different boxes here. Uh, there is one which is the ready queue and then there is another queue which is here, which is marked in red. So the process which has no delay and which are at the ready queue are being loaded here. 
and the process which have some delays in arrival basically it means that it will be created after a certain time in the future but for the purpose of simulation they have been created beforehand and are kept in this queue here uh, marked in red so that we can see it and we can uh, know how exactly it works now let's create a process p3 with priority as 2 and let's take the arrival time as 2 seconds okay and let's create it and then let's finally take process p1 p4 with priority 1 and let's say it got delayed by 3 seconds so now see here it is so i have process p1 which has no delay then we have process p2 which has 4 seconds of delay process p3 which has 2 seconds and process p4 which has 3 seconds of delay so now let's start the simulation you see process p1 went inside and then process the other process that came along inside the ready queue and are being served So finally everything is over. Let's go and view the logs for more extra details. Okay. So you see that process P1 was loaded into the ready queue. And then once our scheduling algorithm started, then that's when all the other process moved into the ready queue. So I told remember that the red color queue which was there is basically a imagination. And just for us to know that there is a process which will enter the ready queue. But as per the CPU, there is no process which is there in the ready queue till then. So those processes were loaded uh, as per its time and as per when the arrival time delay was given to them. So process P1 started and then it was over around, uh, it took around 0 0.4 seconds. Its waiting time was somewhere 0 0.08 seconds. And then we see process P3 was the one which moved to the running state and then process P2 and then finally process P4. So here we have the simulation for HCFS. Hope this video was informative and helpful for you to get more understanding on the process scheduling. Do like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos.